Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Kuat Class 4V2 Kayak Care on our 2015 Kia Sorento. What we have here is gray, but we can also get it in black. With its raised rails and good roof size, the Kia Sorento was a great option as the vehicle to carry our kayaks to the water. Now, we brought out a bunch of different kayak carriers onto the Sorento and the Kuat Class 4 V2 kayak carrier is probably one of my favorites for the mid-range price point. That's because there's a lot of fun features there, making it easier for you to strap down your kayak, but also creating a nice stable surface. So we'll talk about that, but we're going to focus on our vehicle so you can see how it works with it. So the way this mounts to your vehicle is you need to have crossbars and a roof rack system. If you don't already have one for a Sorento, get one. You can find it here on our fit guide at eTrailer.com. Now this will fit most of your crossbars and roof rack systems because it has straps and clamps, but it also has a T-Track kit included with your carrier. With how tall your car is though, I do recommend trying to get it as far out to the edge of your crossbars. That way it's easier for you to load up your kayak. But there's some other features here, like we have a ramp on the end of the kayak carrier. So once you get it lined up, you just keep pushing it until it drops into the carrier and then you start strapping it down. So speaking of straps, I'm a huge fan of how this does its straps. We have extra long cam buckle straps. That way you have more than enough strap length to wrap around your kayaks and create a nice and sturdy foundation. But you also have some little holes inside of the kayak carrier. That way you can guide your straps through. In fact, I have a special trick for getting the straps on and that makes it easier for me to tighten it down on our kayak. With how long this strap is, when I take off the kayak, I actually just give myself a little bit of lead and throw this behind the kayak. And once I have the kayak back on there, I just wrap this back forward and then tighten it down. And now I can put it back into the cam buckles. Obviously we can't do that right now because we have the bow and stern straps. In fact, let's talk about that. So these have tow hook straps, which means they are designed to connect to the bow and the stern of your kayak, go over your hood and then hook onto a tow hook since you have this loop here. Now we don't have a tow hook, plus it's not easily accessible for the Sorento. So instead, you would have to find somewhere inside of your hood that you can wrap this around. If that's gonna be a major issue for you, we do have some hood anchor straps that could be an option for installing inside of your hood, or you can use the e-trailer kayak strap kit. This has a dog bone that you can leave inside your hood too. That would be an easier solution for your Sorento. So this does have lock cords, which you can use to lock and unlock the carrier itself. That way people cannot undo the strap and take off your kayak carrier. Great for if you're traveling long distances with it in the downward portable position. But now that we've seen how the kayak fits on our Sorento, let's take it off and take a closer look. To install your kayak carrier, first you need to just double check what type of roof rack you have. So we have an inner roof rack here. So I would like to put these clamps onto our overhang so that they're more easily accessible. You can see here the tower is in the way. We're gonna move this over towards the back. And now we're going to adjust the tension of the strap. So you have this tool. You're gonna to use this to tighten or loosen the strap. I have it set for our arrow bars now. So we just need to tighten them down. With a properly tensioned strap, you pop it into the lock. Pull that lever to tighten, and just like that, you now have your kayak carrier clamped onto your crossbar. This is going to be the portable position, how you'll have it driving down the highway. But once you're ready to get your kayak on there, pull the lever on the inside, bring this up, and now you're ready to load that up. This is what the carrier looks without the kayak on. You can see how there are some different pads here. That way the kayak is not sitting straight on the carrier. Although the carrier itself is not metal, so that's still good in terms of being lightweight and not scratching up your kayak. The bottom of the carrier has this rubber pad, but it's also grooved for some extra grip. So for the top part of the carrier, this is where your straps go through the top. Now you can also very easily fold this down. So I do like how it's held up in the upright position. This is as much flex as you get. You pull it though, 
bring it right back down, snaps into place. In the folded position, this takes up a little bit of room, but not that much. So measuring from our roof to the top of the carrier, I have it at eight and a half inches of height. This will change depending on your crossbars. I currently have the Inno Aero crossbars with the through feet towers. For the height of the kayak carrier in the open position though, measuring from the roof to the top of the carrier, it's 22 inches. Some things though that I do recommend adding on would be the Moki doorstep. This is gonna give you that extra height and traction. This is what I use to help strap down the kayak because the Sorento, again, is a taller vehicle. You may need that extra boost. And that was a look at the Kuat Class 4 V2 kayak care here on the 2015 Kia Sorento.